going on, beer tubers? It's Eric back at you with yet another beer view. And today I'm looking at the latest birthday release from Deschutes Brewing Company. This is the Black Butte 26th Birthday Reserve Imperial Porter. This sucker clocks in 10.5 or 10.8, excuse me, 10.8 percent alcohol by volume. So it's an ale brewed with pomegranate molasses. 50 percent of it is aged in bourbon barrels, then blended with, I assume, non-barrel aged. Uh, cocoa nibs and cranberry added. So kind of a weird mix this year. Um, I'm a little worried about all the fruits, but let's go ahead and get the pour. Okay, so it's pouring quite thin actually. Um, a deep uh, khaki brown. Nice, oh, fingers worth a head. Big alcohol legs, you'd expect that. Um, through, you know, glass, pretty, pretty opaque. So looks good, let's get the nose. Wow. Um, yeah, I get that classic uh, Black Butte underlying roast character. Uh, a lot of those cocoa nibs and chocolate coming through. It's kind of like a semi-sweet baker's chocolate. Um, yeah, uh, pomegranate molasses. I'm getting some tartness from it, definitely. Uh, I can pick up on some of the fruity characteristics. The cranberry, it's like a cranberry skin, actually. Uh, the flesh of the fruit itself that's coming through. Rather tart, rather fruity, uh, kind of weird. Uh, I'm not picking up on really any barrel at all, um, at least spirit-wise, and really a, no charred characteristics, but let's go ahead and get the taste on this one. Cheers. Um, wow, really tart. Not like sour or infected, but those cranberries are really coming through. A lot of bitter chocolate characteristics. And it finishes out with a semi-sweet dry chocolate finish. Um, hints of tannic oak that go with the cranberries. Um, not really getting a ton of pomegranate. Kind of some of that um, bright acidity from the fruit. Overall good beer. Um, not the best of the Black Butte Birthday Reserve Series. Not the worst. Um, yeah, I, I guess 26 years are changing this one up pretty, uh, they've got to do something. Um, yeah, there's, it's, it's nice. It's interesting. It's intriguing. It's different. I, I just wish Deschutes would stop all this blended barrel crap. Just throw it in a bourbon barrel. Take the other half that you're going to fricking blend it with. That's not barrel. Just throw it in a wine barrel. Or, you know, do something a little bit more exciting than this 50% blend. You know, it's my whole problem with this, too. It's not 100% barely. It's just do it. Stop charging $15 to $18 a bottle for this stuff because uh, it's just not at that level. Just because you slap some wax on it and it's your birthday anniversary beer doesn't mean you can charge whatever the hell you want. This stuff used to be $9.99 to $11.99 around here, so... Enough of my price rant. That really has no effect on this beer itself. It's a weird beer. It's a unique beer. Um, it's not something I'll ever buy again, um, at least this vintage. They're fun to try every year, though. And um, if you're a fan of the Black Butte series and the Birthday series, I, I suggest picking one up. I mean, it's not much to lose. Finishing this bottle is going to be a hell of a problem for me. <laughs> So, uh, score-wise, for me, I give this one a solid 85 out of 100. I don't think it really blows the mind. Like I said, it's unique. It's not bad. It's well-crafted. It's just not for me. There's too much tartness from the fruit, too much acidity. Almost like it could, if I didn't know any better, it could taste slightly infected. And that is not a good thing. So, Black Butte 26, birthday porter from Deschutes Brewing Company. A solid 85 out of 100 for me. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below that like button. Um, definitely interested to hear your opinions of it. Um, and yeah, we'll continue chugging along here, guys. Cheers.